Hello, my name is Saad Usmani. I'm the Chief of Myeloma Service at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. Um, one of the key questions that keeps on coming up is, what's the role of MRD um, in, in multiple myeloma? Can we you know, define duration of treatment? If someone has achieved MRD negativity, do we need to think about one time point or should it be two time point or sustained MRD? Um, I think the same debate is happening again at ASH uh, this year, uh, but we have more and more data to kind of support those debates. So currently, uh, the clinical trials are not just looking at MRD as a surrogate endpoint for better survival outcomes, but looking at sustained MRD negativity, and there's a consensus that maybe 12 months is the right time. We, we're looking at that potential time point as, as a time point where we can stop treatment. So there are trials that are looking at, okay, well, once we get to sustained MRD negativity, stop treatment in half of the folks and let the other folks continue the standard of care treatment. Uh, so it will probably take another two or three years for those trials to mature, but we are getting there. Um, the Forte trial data, the Griffin trial data, uh, you know, all these trials are now reporting on sustained MRD negativity. So we're getting a bit closer, but the jury is still out. So MRD remains a prognostic marker, but we are not, uh, as a standard of care, uh, defining duration of treatment or escalating or de-escalating treatment based on those results yet.